More than 300,000 people have been displaced by the fighting just in Kareni State alone here in Burma. And most of them have ended up in areas like this that these internally displaced people sort of migrate to outside of the major cities. And what they do is build themselves little temporary housing. Actually, these look pretty good. They put a lot of work into this, obviously. But most of the materials for this have been donated. Uh, these green tarps have been donated by the Free Burma Rangers. And that's just one of the things that FBR does to help the internally displaced and those that are most needy here in Burma. Now, one of the other things that they do is gather the people in these areas together at a place like this church behind me, and they do medical clinics and what they call a good life club. Well, part of the team is outside doing a good life club for the children. The medical team from FBR is inside doing health checkups for the internally displaced people in this area, many of whom may have never seen a doctor in their entire lives. Very high. Okay. Okay, normal. We are here at a Good Life Club kids program with Free Burma Rangers and Good Life Club is a gift of abundant life, body and soul for kids to teach some health care, to teach some spiritual dramas that give faith, hope and love to these kids that come from displaced villages and families. It's a team, the Rangers that have wanted to come work with FBR and give back to their people are just uh, flowing with good ideas and creativity and mostly enthusiasm and energy and hope for their people. And they give back so much more. I can have an idea, but they just put it to fruition more than I could ever do And their songs, their games, their skits, and just the life they pour into singing and acting and playing. It's a hot day. Everybody's been sitting in the sun, but they just keep bringing it back to joy and energy and the gifts that they want to give them. Well, some people might think that this is not helpful, like why are you doing this program? But for me and for people here, it's just amazing to come and spend time with uh, these people who are having such a difficult time and to see them smile it, at least even at least like one day it means a lot and for them also I, I'm sure it means a lot because I've just talked to the teacher here and uh, found out that some kids are having a very bad, uh, hard time after the, the incident of um, the aircraft bombing. So on February 5th um, the jet came and bombed the school and four of these children's friends uh, got killed in the incident and it's just amazing uh, to come and spend time with them and I've just talked to the teacher and we were told that the students are having a hard time after that incident. Some kids uh, were not able to sleep at night. They would um, got scared, get irritated, angry and uh, they wouldn't trust most adults anymore and yeah, they wouldn't go back to school anymore and they would don't want to come to this area anymore. It's amazing to come see them today and dance with them and sing with them and seeing their beautiful smiles. It's amazing and I think I, I, I'm sure they're having a good time and it's also such a great honor to be here with them today. I, I just visited with some of the rangers yesterday and found that half of them are actually IDPs and a quarter of those moved three to seven times the last year. So these are rangers who don't even know where their parents and sisters and brothers may be. And then the kids have also had to move. And so I think belief that this is not the end of the story, that God has a big picture, that you can step into chaos, but don't settle for it. You've got a good picture of what God has for you, which is a normal, free, full life under good governance by humans and under God's sovereignty that he has hope for all of us in the worst situations. And even as you try to formulate the best situations, he's got a plan. And I think the Rangers believe that and they want to work together with the families out here, some of which are their families out here to not surrender to despair, to chaos and to build something new and better. That 
is a, a way to not only teach these people about the gospel and to encourage them, but to let them know that people around the world are thinking about them as well.